Hey everyone, I'm Nick and welcome back to Cyphernatics. Well, today we're talking about two things. We're talking about the sneak peek scene, which has recently dropped for Star Trek Discovery Season 5, Episode 3, which is entitled Jinnal. We're going to take a look at that sneak peek scene and uh, see what we're in for in the next episode of Discovery. And we've also got a season trailer, which has included a whole bunch of new shots from episodes of this season, which look very, very interesting. Shots we haven't seen before. They give a little bit more insight into maybe what we're up for in this adventure that is our chase to get the information from the progenitors or whatever from that uh, Next Generation episode, The Chase. So we're going to take a look at both of those things today, break them down, see what we can learn about upcoming episodes of Star Trek Discovery Season 5. Okay, so first up, let's have a look at this sneak peek scene from the next episode. Uh, episode 3, which is entitled Janal. It's set on Trill to get the next piece of the Progenitor's puzzle. So let's see what uh, the away team's up to on Trill. Welcome. Kalzara is eager to meet you. You knew the answer. Yes, we are here for the clue. We understand you have it. I have been waiting for you nearly my whole life. Okay, so we've got uh, Burnham, Book, Culber and Adira on this away mission. And it seems like there's a Trill guardian of some description that uh, she's been tasked with keeping this particular piece of the puzzle safe. Back, uh, I guess, in Next Generation era, Janal came to her and said, hey, this is really important. Uh, can you just save this for me somewhere? Just put it uh, down the back of your cupboard somewhere and just keep it safe. And uh, only if somebody comes with the right password or whatever, do you uh, talk to them about it. It seems like this person uh, on Trill here has been tasked exclusively with the keeper of this uh, important information. But I cannot help you. Only Janal can. The original host? Didn't he die hundreds of years ago? Janal joined with our symbiont so that it could carry his secrets across the ages until a worthy seeker arrived. Okay, so we know that Janal is a former Trill host. He's the one that Dr. Velik entrusted the information to. And I'm guessing there's going to probably be some sort of ritual involved here where one of our away team is going to have to uh, submerge themselves into uh, the big milky pool or whatever and have some sort of out-of-body experience to retrieve the necessary information that they need to, uh, to solve this piece of the puzzle. He requires that you speak with him directly. Please. The symbiont is tired and longs to rest. So do I. How are we supposed to do this? A Shantara. It's a ritual that allows Janal's consciousness to transfer to another body for a limited time. It cannot be a joined host, but others from your team may serve as a vessel. Ah, so it can't be a joined host, which that cancels out Adira. I'm guessing it's going to be Dr. Culber. For a couple of reasons. Uh, firstly, um, what we've got coming up in the second half of this video, which is a few little clips uh, from this new trailer that has come out to sort of showcase the fifth season of Star Trek Discovery. There's a couple of shots in here with Dr. Culber looking very dreamy in a dreamlike state. So based on these shots, I'm thinking that Dr. Culber is the one that's going to have to talk to Janal and get the re relevant information out of him or her. We don't know whether Janal is male or female. Obviously Book and Burnham, they've had a lot to do uh, in the first two episodes. So good Dr. Culber's getting, uh, getting a, a, a bit more to do in this episode, which is good. So let's take a look through this trailer now and, and see some of these extra shots and see what we can learn about about, uh, about season five of Discovery, because uh, there's quite a few new, new shots here we haven't seen before. I'll show the whole trailer, um, but we'll talk specifically about clips from episodes that we haven't seen. So I won't go through any of the shots that are in this trailer that appear from episodes one or two, but I will obviously go through the episodes th three, the ones we haven't seen, episodes three um, and above. Let's take a look. a search for one of the greatest powers ever known. The technology, it could have incredible applications. Protecting it. What was that? Nothing is more important. In our first shot here, we've got Book running away from these stingers that are being shot at him by those big bees we've seen in a sneak peek scene before. 
Burnham, Rayner, Tilly and Adira walking with purpose down a corridor on the Discovery. Burnham and Tilly looking like they're going undercover down to a planet for an away mission, disguised as a different race. First officer Rayner looking very composed here in this shot as the uh, ship blows up around him in some capacity. That's very calm of him. Looks like Discovery is scanning a part of this planet's surface. So I've got some cliff tops and some jungle there, perhaps a hiding spot for one of the puzzle pieces to the map from the progenitors. Burnham on the same away mission, I'm guessing, with Tilly and she's got some weird uh, marking on her forehead there. One of her eyes is glowing blue. Or perhaps it's a eye implant or a special kind of contact lens that kind of gives her Jody LaForge style vision or something perhaps. Stamets talking to Raina about the incredible applications of the progenitor's technology and benefits it could have. Burnham and Culba on this quarry planet where they're clearly hunting for another piece to the uh, progenitor's map. This is the place that's I'm guessing guarded by those giant bees with the stingers. Looking up there to the sky, potentially looking at the bees or maybe even Molen Lark's ship that might be arriving to beat them to the punch. Culber stressing the importance of finding this next piece in the puzzle. Power of creation, here we come. We are gonna find the progenitor's tech. Could have just said hello. You could have just left us the hell alone. It could be a suicide mission. I'm afraid a lot. Change can't be hard. We're on this quest to find the thing that created us. We've got Discovery doing a bit of a flyby here on a very industrial looking planet with lots of lights and uh, so forth. Looks a bit like Coruscant from uh, the Star Wars universe. Mole and Lark reiterating their dedication to discovering the progenitor's tech and having a bit of a uh, tender romantic moment here in this clip. Looks like we've got a phaser fight going on here between Burnham and Book against uh, Mole and Lark in the sick bay of the Enterprise. Uh, clearly using the same set as they use on Strange New Worlds for this scene. And Mole and Lark appearing to use some sort of holographic graphic technology perhaps to duplicate themselves because there's uh, two moles and two larks in this shot to uh, create double the targets to aim for. And it also seems this episode is going to take place in the mirror universe as we see in the background of this shot here with uh, Lark we've got the Terran Empire logo clearly there in the background. President Rillick talking about a suicide mission. Burnham on this forest planet that we saw earlier with Tilly no doubt investigating for another piece in the puzzle. The location for next week's episode set on Trill with Janal. Unlocking some kind of vault perhaps to reveal a next piece in the uh, progenitor's map puzzle. Tilly in her disguise looking up to the sky and looking somewhat concerned. It's kind of beautiful on a twisted sort of way. We're only gonna get one shot at this, make it count. This is insane. Here we go. One last mission to say goodbye. What if he happens when we finally put this thing together? I don't know. To find out. In this shot, we've got Reno, Tilly, and Adira looking in engineering at something that's causing them some sort of concern. Good to see uh, Reno's back for this season as well. She's always a good character. Burnham and Reno look like they're dodging some phaser blasts here. Reno with a phaser, but not a typical Federation phaser here. Looks like he's might have disarmed Molo Lark and grabbed this one off them potentially. Looks like Burnham's grabbed Lark and is uh, diving with him through a glass wall from the uh, Enterprise sick bay set from that earlier scene we looked at. Looks like Rainer's going to be getting quite a few opportunities in the captain's chair because Burnham's going to be off doing all of the away missions and so forth. So he's going to be taking command on board the ship from what it seems. Book and Stamets here in engineering. Looks like they're working through some data information there. Maybe they've uncovered another piece of the puzzle for the progenitor's technology and analysing it somehow. I reckon this shot's going to be from episode 3, Janal with uh, Culber taking the responsibility of doing some sort of uh, trill mind link thing with uh, the former host to get that information they need. A moment of levity here between uh, Reno and Adira. Book and Burnham on a shuttlecraft headed to what appears to be the original Enterprise, which appears to be stuck in some sort of nebula here. We can clearly see 1701 on the hull there, so it is in fact the Enterprise, and this appears to be probably in the mirror universe, like we've talked about before from those sick bay scenes. I think the fact that we're going back to the uh, Enterprise in this is really interesting, and how this actually plays out. So it would seem that one of our puzzle pieces for this map that they're trying to assemble from the progenitors is hidden in the mirror universe. 
universe. So they're going to have to do a bit of, uh, it would seem not only universe jumping, but also a significant time travel jump here to get back to somewhere around Pike or Kirk's era to uh, retrieve this from the Enterprise, which appears to be trapped in some sort of nebula or something here. It's looking very ethereal and sort of, uh, you know, hidden amidst this uh, this nebula. Burnham in the pouring rain looks like she's on the starting blocks, about to run a, <laughs> run a race of some kind, a bit Flash-esque, this pose. Burnham in this quarry when they're facing off against those giant bees, clearly trying to open some sort of a hidden vault there to unlock the next puzzle piece, which I'm assuming they find because uh, we've got Stamets here locking a second puzzle piece into the first one they found at the uh, Promelian Necropolis. Burnham here on a planet with a very purple atmosphere. Looks like she's having a bit of a face-off against Mole. A tender moment here between Saru and Tarina. Saru is now obviously no longer in Starfleet uniform and he's wearing his ambassadorial outfit. This looks like it could be Burnham and Tilly in some very strange mind-bending gravity warping environment. And he's one of those giant bees we spoke about before in this quarry with uh, Burnham and Book and Culber that have to face off against them to uh, get the next puzzle piece. So I'm enjoying the uh, the treasure hunt uh, aspect of this season. It uh, seems to be quite entertaining and it looks like we've got quite a few interesting locations to go to to retrieve our various different puzzle pieces that are not only hidden on Trill but on this planet with gigantic bees shooting stingers in quarries and uh, enterprises hidden in nebulas and everything in mirror universes. So there's a, quite a uh, interesting r array of different planets and locations that we're going to be traveling to to retrieve our various different puzzle pieces for this, this adventure we're going on for this season. But uh, let me know what you guys think of not only the sneak peek scene we just watched of for episode three, Janal, but also uh, some of these new shots we've just got to have a look at from this new trailer for the season. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section and we'll get chatting about that. Would you believe that three quarters of my viewership comes from people who aren't subscribed to my channel? So if you haven't subscribed to Cyphernetics yet, please be sure to do so. Click on that big subscribe button. Stay current and up to date with all the latest Star Trek news on YouTube. And be sure to check out all of my merch in the merch store. Plenty of cool t-shirts, hoodies, mugs, caps, stickers, you name it. Star Trek stuff, sci-fi stuff, really cool designs. Um, pick yourself up a bargain and help support the channel at the same time. I'll be back very soon with the next video. I'll see you guys soon.